بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد As believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should always strive to be aware of our shortcomings and weaknesses and the believer is always striving to purify his or herself and protect his or herself from the shaitan and some of the guidance from our pious predecessors like Imam Ibn Qudama al-Maqdisi rahimahullah ta'ala and may Allah bless him with Jannah to Fardos in his book entitled Mukhtasar Minhaj al-Qasideen he said rahimahullah ta'ala there are four ways by which a person can realize his own shortcomings and weaknesses the first way a person sits with a scholar who has insight and understanding of the nature of personal weaknesses and sin. The scholar makes the person aware of his weaknesses and the means to cure them. The existence of this way is rare in this day and age. So if a person finds such a scholar, he is indeed discovered an intelligent doctor and it is not befitting to leave him. The second way, a person should seek out an honest, religious, and insightful friend and allow him to be a guardian over him so that he can inform him of any disliked mannerisms and actions. Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, used to say, may Allah have mercy upon a person who, whose gifts, who gives us our own weaknesses, meaning who who makes us aware of our own weaknesses. The pious predecessors, meaning the Salaf of this Ummah, used to love those who would inform them of their shortcomings. However, today in most cases, the most hated of the people to us are those who inform us of our shortcomings. And the third way, a person benefits from the tongue of his enemies in knowing his weaknesses. This is because an eye which is displeased will only see the bad characteristics of the person that it looks at. A person taking advantage of a quarrelsome opponent who mentions his weaknesses is more beneficial than a friend who flatters and hides his weaknesses from him. And then the fourth way, by mixing and interacting with people and avoiding that which one considers to be blameworthy in them. Those are the four things that Imam Ibn Qudama mentioned. And just as to recap, because it's very beneficial for us, we can all benefit from this, because we need to be aware of our shortcomings and strive to purify our own souls. So the first way he mentioned is by sitting with the righteous people, sitting with a righteous scholar who has knowledge and insight and understands the nature of people's weaknesses and 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 so forth so then that person so then the the person can be made aware of their weaknesses by that scholar and the scholar can tell him or her how to cure their weaknesses the second way he mentioned is that a person should seek out an honest religious and insightful friend so someone who's on istiqama not just anyone but someone who is who is straight and religious and so that person will be honest with them in pointing out their shortcomings and the third way he mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala is that a person should listen to those to his critics and this is very very important for those people out making uh, dawah and propagating Islam that they should listen to those people who critique them from those people who are who want good for them and even those people who don't want good for them because perhaps through their critique that person will find guidance and will find 
a mistake that they need to correct. And the final way that he mentioned Rahimahullah Ta'ala is by mixing and interacting with people and avoiding their sinful habits. So again, by mixing with people, we also can be made aware of our own shortcomings and see uh, what sins to avoid. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to bless us with um nafi ruskan taibu amalan muttaqabbilan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with those deeds which He is pleased with. And may Allah accept our good deeds and forgive our evil deeds and help us to correct ourselves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.